Congratulations on your purchase of Titan Control's Flow and Grow system, where you can be growing in one hour or less. Here's how. Parts for the Flow and Grow 12-site grow system include 1. Blue 55-gallon reservoir 12. Black 360-degree mesh pot inserts 12. Blue 4-gallon grow sites with grommet installed 12. 3 quarter inch T-fittings 2. Maxi-jet pumps 4. Half-inch hose clamps 2. 10-inch black spiral tubing wraps 8 2 foot pieces of 3 quarter inch black tubing, 1 10 foot spool of 3 quarter inch black tubing coil, 1 20 foot spool of half inch black tubing coil, 1 Oceanus 1 Flow and Grow controller, and the Flow and Grow system instructions. You should be able to assemble your Flow and Grow system in one hour or less. Here's how. To begin with, place the reservoir, Oceanus 1, and grow sites out in your planned grow area. It is important to remember that the grow sites must be at the same level as the Oceanus 1 for the flow and grow system to function properly. Arrange the buckets in the grow area in a pattern that fits the lighting footprint in your garden. Install the T-fittings into the grommet in each grow site. You can lubricate the fitting with water or light coating of vegetable oil to make them easier to insert into the grommet. Take the 20 foot coil of 3 quarter inch black plastic tubing and after you've determined the layout of your garden, connect the 3 quarter inch tubing from the Oceanus 1 to the first grow site on your first flood line of grow sites. Then repeat this process to each of the grow sites that start your flood lines. Now take the pre-cut 3 quarter inch 2 foot tubing pieces and complete your flood line layout. Move the black easy pull caps to the end of the flood lines when complete. Snap the 360 degree mesh buckets into each of the grow sites. Fill each grow site 2 inches from the top of the 360 degree mesh insert with your preferred growing medium. When transplanting, place the top of the transplant cube approximately 2 inches under the surface of the grow medium to help starts avoid floating when you begin to fill the grow sites. If possible, fill the system with warm water after initial grow site setup and reposition sites. This will take the memory out of the black 3 quarter inch tubing and make it easier to lay out the system. Lower the maxi jet pump into the bottom of the reservoir. Cut a piece of half inch tubing approximately 42 inches long, enough to reach the half inch straight fitting at the top of the reservoir to the maxi jet pump at the bottom of the reservoir. Connect the half inch tubing from the pump to the fill half inch straight fitting in the lid of the reservoir. Take the power cord from the pump through the hole in the lid of the reservoir and plug into fill output on the left side of the Oceanus 1. Place the reservoir and the Oceanus 1 in your grow area and connect them using the half inch black tubing. Cut two pieces of half inch tubing long enough to reach from the top of the reservoir to the half inch straight connectors in the top of the Oceanus 1. Attach one piece of the half inch tubing from the fill fitting on the top of the reservoir to the fill fitting on the top of the Oceanus 1. Attach the other piece of the half inch tubing from the drain fitting on the top of the reservoir to the drain fitting on the top of the Oceanus 1. Use a half inch hose clamp to attach the tubing to the fittings on the top of the reservoir. Then take the two 10 inch spiral wrap pieces and carefully wrap the hoses. 
The spiral wrap prevents the tubing from kinking or bending and assists in maintaining the water flow in this wonderful system. Secure the pump to the interior wall of the Oceanus 1 with the pump filter placed flush against the bottom of the bucket. Use the 25 inch piece of black half inch tubing which is included and connect it to the pump outlet using a half inch hose clamp. Attach the other end of the tubing to the Oceanus 1 drain fitting under the controller lid. Put the power cord for the pump through the hole in the top of the Oceanus 1. Plug the pump power cord into the drain output outlet on the right side of the Oceanus 1. The Oceanus 1 has two switches to control the water flow to the system. The bottom switch controls the drain water level in the grow sites. The top switch controls the fill water level in the grow sites. Note. Black 3 quarter inch pull caps on the Oceanus 1 output fittings are intended for use when expanding or contracting the system. Move to 3 quarter inch T fitting at the end of the flood line. Do not discard. Check your watch or cell phone to set the time of day on the Oceanus 1. Now set the flood periods on the Oceanus 1 by pushing the non-detachable 15-minute tripper towards the center of the timer. An orange ring will show that the tripper is in the on position. Normally your plants will need to be flooded two to three times per day, mattering on the type of soilless mix you are using for your plants. One hour later or less, you're done. Congratulations and enjoy growing with the new Flow and Grow system.